logical. In logic, argument is a technical term. It's not two people yelling at each other. An argument is just a piece of reasoning put into words. Fundamentally, an argument is a group of sentences. Here's a group of sentences, but it's not an argument. These are questions and exclamations. We need a different kind of sentence to build an argument, the kind that puts forward a claim as true. What we need are statements. Here's a group of statements. They might be true. Then again, they might be false. Or maybe they're a mishmash, some true, some false. But at least they are putting forward claims that we can evaluate as true or false. And that's the hallmark of a statement. So an argument is made up of statements, but this is not an argument. It's just a list of bird facts, plus one I made up. An argument puts forward reasons for believing something. We call the reasons premises, and they have a job to do. Support the truth of the conclusion. They tell you why you should think the conclusion is true. In sum, an argument is a group of statements. It might be a very large group, or just a group of two. One of them will always be the conclusion, the star of the show, and the rest are just supporting characters, premises, offered up as evidence for the conclusion. You might be asking, ah, but what is truth? People say all kinds of knuckleheaded things about the nature of truth, but it's really not that hard. Just as a map represents the landscape, a statement represents reality. A good map gets the landscape right, and a true statement gets reality right. It puts forward a claim that matches the way things really are. But back to arguments. In a philosophy class, arguments are neat and tidy, displayed in standard form like this, with the premises first and the conclusion last, usually with a line or this three-dot symbol to mark the conclusion. But real life is messy. An op-ed in the newspaper might start with the conclusion, save the premises for later, or even throw in the conclusion somewhere in the middle. Worse, you might not be able to find the conclusion. Indicator words can help solve this problem. They help identify the conclusion. Though careful using some of these, you won't impress anyone with these fancy conclusion indicators. There are premise indicators, too. These words help you spot the reasons being offered up. But not every argument uses indicator words. And not every attempt at argument manages to be an argument. Some people just say what they believe, and never bother to give reasons. This can even sound convincing sometimes, but without offering reasons, it's not an argument, just bluster. So arguments are pieces of language that express our reasoning. And since logic is the investigation of the standards of correct reasoning, it's fair to say that arguments are at the very heart of logic.